DOA back. What's going on, everyone? We're back and we're on Madden 20. Cannot believe it. Um, we're gonna be doing some realistic rebuilding today. It's gonna be the Denver Broncos is gonna be uh, the team that we realistic rebuild today. Um, as you guys probably already know, um, the Denver Broncos are not a very good team. As of right now, they have some talent. They really do. And as you see, Joe Flacco is their starting quarterback. That's not good. Joe Flacco is not that good. Now, they did happen to draft Drew Locke this year. That, uh, we'll see how that turns out in the Madden world, of course. Uh, he has not yet gotten his start there. Um, let's see, they're, I believe they're two and something. Let's see, the Denver Broncos are, they're fourth in the division. They are two and six, so yeah, they definitely are not that hot on the season. Uh, Cortland Sutton. He'll be a uh, piece in this rebuild. Uh, this offensive line does not look so hot. We'll just spin that upgrade. He looks okay. Leary, let's see. Gonna have to get rid of him. Govern. Solid. Dalton Riser, definitely a piece. James over here. Let's see. Spend that. Let's get. Alright, and he's definitely probably. He's solid. <clears throat> Sorry. He's solid. Um. Definitely not uh, gonna be our guy. Uh, so the first thing in the first order of business is gonna be moving Noah Fant to starting tight end. Definitely wanna see him get. Uh, some reps in there uh, and I'm just gonna do it guys Drew Locke will be the starting quarterback for the Broncos this season at least here um looks like uh, we can try and develop Winfrey he doesn't really have a good dev trait Hamilton he definitely could progress I mean he has not been in the league that long let's go over to the defensive side of the ball where things seem to get a little bit better when you see Von Miller 97 overall and Superstar X Factor. And then you also see oh, what's up DNA? Um, and then you also see Chris Harris Jr. at 91 overall. So obviously Chris Harris and Von Miller are both aging at uh I believe Chris Harris was on that Super Bowl team, but I know Von Miller was uh, Super Bowl MVP. But I mean, besides that, there's not too many bright spots. Uh, I mean, you have Justin Simmons; he's pretty young, developing, a uh, very nice developing player. Kareem Jackson over here; he's getting old. Uh, you got Bryce Callahan, where they, which was an off-season addition from the Bears. Um. We over here got Derek Wolf. He's definitely getting old. He's aging. Uh, so the way this this is gonna work, guys. Um, I've kind of gone over the roster with you guys. Uh, oh, speak about kickers real quick. Uh, Bra uh Brandon McManus. Not really any talent over here either. But um, the way this is gonna work is it's gonna be a five-year rebuild. And in the fifth year, it's going to be a Super Bowl bus. I'm not going to play anything. Nothing until the fifth year. If by the end of the fifth year, we make the playoffs, <clears throat> and we have not won a Super Bowl, it's Super Bowl or bust. The rule being that if my team needs me, I can hop in and kind of help the team win a Super Bowl. Doesn't It is on all Madden. Does not mean that I will guaranteed win it. 
does not mean anything. I will be playing with the playbooks from the actual teams themselves. I will not change playbooks. I'm going to keep it 100% real with you guys. Now, for the sake of this being a sim rebuild, I'm not going to have injuries on. Uh, neither will I have pre-existing inju uh, injuries. Uh, just uh, saying, when you're trying to do a rebuild, it's going to be hard when you have, um, what's it called? When you have uh, players going down every couple weeks. Uh, that would be the most realistic way, but it's very unfathomable in Madden. Um, but besides that, I mean, uh, the rest is just uh, just building. I, w I won't be playing anything else until year five. Uh, I won't. I will be simming it to the halfway point. I'm just gonna do that. All right, and then. Let's put some top guys. Let's see. Uh, we're going to put our QB right here. Drew Locke. And we're going to sim that. Now I'm excited to see if Drew Locke's the guy. Of course we have Philip Lindsay on. That's definitely pretty decent. It's already. Before the trade deadline, oh, just Harris Jr. Or do I keep him for the year? Uh, or possibly two. Uh, Bradley Chubb developing really well. He's young. That's definitely gonna be a piece in our rebuild. Um, Deshaun Hamilton. Hopefully, he can be a piece in our rebuild. He's looking good so far. Star already a upgrade, 74 overall. And Let's see. We're gonna set a season goal. We're gonna. I don't think this team is gonna be very good. We're gonna. We're gonna go four wins. Hopefully, sneak out uh, a good draft pick. But I definitely want to look at some salaries. Because before we get stimulating, I definitely want to see who's hurting us uh, the most. Let's see. The total. Okay. Um. So hopefully we can get rid of Flacco. That is a huge contract that we just cannot afford. That will free up so much cap space if we can just get rid of him. Um, let's see. Oh, Kareem Jackson is a really big hit on this year. I mean, uh, on the signing bonus. So is uh, James. I can't get rid of those bonuses, so it does not matter. Um, Bradley Chubb. Of course, we're keeping him. That's a lot to be paying your kicker. We might look to go a different uh, way in the off season. Let's see. Yeah, because he's locked up for only two more years. I don't know if I want to pay my kicker eight million over two years. I don't know if that's the direction I want to go in. Garrett Bowles definitely not going to be a, a piece on this team. But, I mean, his contract is not that bad. Now, this guy right here, Yadam, no idea. He has a pretty big contract, it looks like, for not being that great. But, let's focus on getting rid of Jack, uh, Joe Flacco. Let's just do it right now. We have $59 uh, million in cap room already. But... It never hurts to get rid of more. Let's see if anyone has green interest for him. Who wants Joe Flacco? Oh, the Giants need a quarterback. We're not going to do... Uh, I don't know if we're going to trade him to the Giants. Let's see who else has it. The Vikings. They want to get rid of Kirk Cousins. Okay. Let's see if we can pull out a third round pick. I don't want to be too cheesy. He is a big quarterback. That is accepted. Okay. Um, we have a third round quarterback for now. Uh, what was Joe Flacco? So right here we'll do this. We're going to go to free agency. And, I mean, there's no reason to uh, really uh, sign a backup because of the injuries. But 
we're gonna make sure we have a backup because it's realistic. And you never know, garbage time. Uh, but besides that, I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Uh, we're gonna sim to mid-season. Hopefully, don't have that great of a record. How's it going, everyone in chat? Uh, Dean, how's it going, buddy? I'm just out here rebuilding the the Broncos. You know how it is. I'm just bringing some of my uh, my knowledge to uh, the rebuilding world. Hopefully, I can make this team into something great. And if anyone in chat has an idea for a superstar they want me to target in the off season or uh, over free agency, because there might be someone in there. Uh, seeing that this is realistic, I want to keep it kind of realistic. I do think that Joe Flacco uh, getting rid of his contract is definitely the best solution for us. Okay, um, a breakout player, that could be good. Um, da -da -da, keep throwing in my... Corlin Sutton, three plus touchdowns or 150 plus rushing. Hopefully Drew Locke get, uh, gets it to him. But I see that we took a loss in the last week. We are three and five. Very disappointing. Um, I was hoping to be worse. Maybe one and seven. But um, it looks like maybe Drew Locke is performing well. Uh, let's see, we have contracts. Who wants a contract? Okay, we definitely want to bring back Justin Simmons. Now, let's tweak that a little bit. And hopefully he's okay. We got, we got him locked up. Theo Riddick, you can walk. Terry Jackson, we can just give him some kind of offer. Now, I have to see, I believe we don't have really another plan at the free safety position. So I believe that we're going to hold on to him. Now, I know that we don't have an, another plan at the center position for right now. So I think we're going to lock him up for two years. Hopefully, he'll just take the, there we go. Got him locked up. Uh, yeah, I think we're actually just going to sign him because I, I do think that we need him. Uh, so hopefully he'll develop. Hopefully I'll take that contract. That's great. I have all, I'm having all the luck right now. Now here's the guy that I don't know if I want to sign yet. Let's see how much he wants for the year. That is huge money. Huge. Yeah, I'll just have to look at that in the off season. That's just one of those things. That I'm just gonna have to look at in the off season, cause I uh, I gotta see how much he regresses. I don't want I don't want to go sign someone and then uh, just give away all my cap space. Uh, so let's see, we're three and five again. Let me go to the stats. Let's check out how Drew Lock is doing on the season. It looks like 1,800 yards, 13 touchdowns, the five picks. Drew Locke, you are on pace to win Rookie of the Year right now. You are having an amazing season. Um, looks like Philip Lindsay has not having a bad season with Royce Freeman leading in fi uh, behind him. Looks like Royce Freeman's getting the majority of the uh, tutties. Um, let's see, receiving Corlin Sutton is definitely getting some uh, looks. Noah Fan, Deshaun uh, Hamilton. It's all looking good. It's looking good. Uh, all right, let's do a couple upgrades and get ready to go to the end of this year. Oh, Drew Locke already has three upgrades. This is awesome. Um, he may end up being our potential um, replacement for Joe Flacco. Um, maybe the next uh, Peyton Manning. Who knows? This may be the solution for a long-term quarterback for the Denver Broncos. That's what I'm going with. Uh, that's what kind of quarterback he is. 
Um, Noah Fant already with two possession this time. Pick up a 75. And we'll go with vertical threat this time. Now he's a 76, developing very well. I will say that this is some, some excellent development right now. I did, did Noah Fant have hidden? He did. So he ended up getting a star out of that. That's not the best. Um, ooh, lots of upgrades. Lots of upgrades. So let's believe he's young. Let's give him the slots. Oh, he he's not too young. He's a rookie. He is our punter. Do we have two on the on the roster? I'll have to check that. I don't believe we should have two. Alright, so two middle linebackers, two upgrades. Very nice, very nice. Um, this guy, okay. He might get moved to fullback. We could definitely use a fullback. Garrett Bowles, for as long as I have you, um, I might as well upgrade you. Some of the stuff is not the most entertaining, I understand. Oh, another thing is I will be um, simulating all the playoff games in play the moment so you guys can see that. Um, I don't think that will happen this year. I don't think that we'll be getting in to the playoffs. Never know. But um, actually would not like to be in the playoffs this year. No, it sounds funny. Uh, we're going to go a deep threat. Maybe get him some speed as an upgrade. Speed. Mm, did not. He's 88 speed, so I mean, definitely could have used it. Looks like we're getting back up to who we need to upgrade. Definitely like to see this. Um, pass protector right here. We're getting our rookie up there, 76. It's not very easy to upgrade offensive linemen. And here's where we're getting our younger guys. All right. Let's give him, let's give him deep threat. I want to see if I can get him, catch some more bombs. Uh, let's see, Bryce Callahan, definitely a piece as of right now. Younger, I mean, he's, he's younger. He's not amazingly younger, but he's younger. Um, let's go with hybrid. Justin Simmons seems to be the long-term solution. And I'll let them do the rest because I don't feel like doing all that. All right. Uh, we're getting ready to come up on a bye week here. Let's look at my depth chart real quick. Is this guy a rookie? No, he's not. Okay, so I'm not worried about him getting reps. Let's see. Um... So middle linebacker is definitely going to be a point of attack in the draft. A lot of linebacking positions. Uh, the end. Just a lot of defense it seems like, boys. Uh, Will Parks is probably going to be our uh, successor for Kareem Jackson. So maybe, maybe, I don't believe the trade. Yeah, uh, Kareem Jackson, I don't know if he's locked up. Uh, but I think we're going to do this. I think we're going to get him in. I think we're going to get Will Parks in there early. Um, he's definitely, he's a scheme fit as well. He's only a normal dev. But Kareem Jackson is going to sit the rest of the season. Yeah, he definitely should not be playing over Yadam. Uh, okay. Uh, special teams, okay, now let me do something on my depth chart, cool, 
corner back. All right. That is now fixed. Spend a little bit of coach XP and we will be simming to the off season. Uh, yeah, we'll do expert scouting. All right, time to see if we uh miss the playoffs or if we're in. Now, if you guys are watching this either as a video or at, uh, on the stream. Let me know your favorite team in the comments. Or what teams you guys would like to see in the future rebuilds. Uh, I definitely uh, am enjoying this so far. This is just something new, new that I thought I might try out. Um, also, let me know if, uh, when I do this if you guys would like to see face cam. I can always incorporate that. But... Um, Oh, and also let me know how long how long you guys is uh how long would you guys like me to do these such as how many seasons five six seven um maybe ten uh ten seasons over a course of two streams uh just let me know uh maybe or possibly probably not gonna happen in the next video but uh. Just let me know. I definitely will look over the comments and see how it, uh, everything turns out. But looking here at the screen, we did not make it. We went 4-12. and 12. We only won one game in the last, uh, was it, eight games of the season. That's, uh, that's kind of a blessing on my part, but let's hope that we got some... Um, let's hope we got some developments. Oh, my contract got extended. <laughs> they expected me they expected the team to be bad so they're not upset let's go look at some stats though all right so we got 3600 yards and he doubled his touchdowns from at the halfway point but he threw twice as many interceptions uh he threw 10 in the la uh, nine in the last half of the season um uh, Philip Lindsay you did not like to see that. His production definitely dwindled down. Uh, did not break a thousand. Uh, you love to see it. Uh, Deshaun Hamilton, a uh, thousand receiving yards, nine tutties. Cortland Sutton, nine hundred receiving yards, seven tutties. You love to see it. The, the workload was definitely uh, spread out. Let's go to our defense. Let's see who uh, performed well on defense. It seems as if. Chris Harris Jr., he got four picks. Bryce Callahan, three. Josie Jewell, okay, three picks. Looks like we definitely got ended up getting a lot of picks. Um, any uh, forced fumbles by chance? All right, we got a forced fumble by Callahan, Simmons, Duke Dawson, Von Miller, uh, Kareem Jackson, who ended up taking out any defensive ch touchdowns. No. Now, let's see if we got any sacks. Of course, we got some sacks. But Von Miller, still in his ninth year in the league, 13 sacks on the season, tearing it up. Jeremiah Atachu, however you say that, seven sacks. You would love to see some more sacks, but definitely a little bit of the workload spread out. Some of the cornerbacks got in there, but we definitely need to up that sack game. Von Miller cannot do all the work. But let's go look at some yearly awards. Josh Allen wins MVP. You hate to see it, boys. Uh, uh, let's see. Any um, any Broncos in there? Nope. Coach of the year, Freddie Kitchens. You would, definitely would not expect to see that. Uh, Bronco in there, of course not. We didn't do well. And we're going to the NFC. Drew Brees wins Offensive Player of the Year. No Broncos. Uh, Khalil Mack, of course, wins Defensive Player of the Year. Doesn't look like I, we have any Broncos. Wait, my fault, guys. I'm not. Um, that's my uh, my fault. Offensive Player of the Year goes to Josh Allen in the AFC. Um, no Broncos. 
Defensive Player of the Year, J.J. Watt. Uh, oh, there we are, Von Miller. Um, looks like that's it. Drew Locke wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. You love to see it. Um, with no fan coming in at six, Jawan Winfrey coming in at seventh. Uh, you love to see it, boys. Uh, looks like we. Uh, defensive Rookie of the Year ended up going to Christian Wilkins. Doesn't look like there's any Broncos. Best quarterback goes to Jacoby, Jacoby Brissett. No Broncos. Um, Le'Veon Bell. No Broncos. Oh, there is. Uh, and Phil Lindsay did come in at number 10. Uh, Adam Humphreys wins Best Wide Receiver of the Year. No Broncos. Uh, offensive Line. No Broncos. Uh, our offensive line is terrible. So, yeah. It, uh, Von Miller wins linebacker of the year. Love it. Love to see it. Uh, Chris Harris Jr. comes uh, comes in at second on uh, best defensive back of the year. Uh, following quick behind is Bryce Callahan at number five. Our uh, defensive back squad definitely isn't terrible. Uh, and Goskowski. Uh, Bregan McManus definitely trying to earn his uh, money. But we're just gonna have to let him uh, let him go at the end of the season. That's just gonna have to happen. And li bro, Liddy, uh, what? What's up, Dean? What's so Liddy, my dog? Uh, we're gonna go with Phil General. What is indeed the Liddy that you are talking about? All right, let's hope that he got a dev increase. Let's go. Field General, he's a 72 overall. Let's see this. Throw power is 90. Definitely, definitely not going quarterback in the draft. He's looking like he's developing pretty well. Did not get a dev trade increase, but um, I love I I love to see it. You love to see it, boys. Um, Jack, I will be doing Madden streams. Yes, I will. I I am more of a main. Madden streamer than I am a Fortnite streamer now. Uh, anyways, Deshaun Hamilton. Let's see. Uh, he definitely looked like he got some progression. 75 overall now, Deshaun Hamilton. Deep threat. He's now a 76 overall. You love to see it with star development. Did he just get that? Did he just get that? No, he's had it. Okay. Um, 25 years old. That you you definitely love to see that. Even though I've said that a million times today. Josie Jewell. Um, depending on how young he is, I don't remember. Let's see. 73 overall. Maybe he might be a solution at middle linebacker. You never know. Um, Juwan Winfrey. Chris Harris being second, uh, I think I think he's making a case for me to keep him in the second year, Dean. I think that's honestly what's going on, and honestly, I think I have to do it. I can't let him go. Um, Jawan Winfrey, 68 overall. So uh, all these rookies getting upgrades. Oh, look at all these guys with the upgrades. Um, Noah Fant, the possession. Uh, let's see. He is so young. Will Parks definitely got an upgrade for getting started midway through the season. He should be solid for us. Todd Davis. Uh, he's going to be gone soon, I believe. All right. Like I said, anyone in the chat, if you guys have like a, a superstar or... Someone that you would like me to try and go get. It is realistic, but I will try to go get someone if you guys want to see him on the team. All right. Cortland Sutton. We're going to do deep threat again. Uh, Ron Leary. Definitely not going to be on the team after the year's over, I'm assuming. Uh, we're going to go with Von Miller. Von Miller is... Probably gonna regress heavily. 98 overall now. Expect to see him at a 91. 
but I, he's just someone that I can't let go. I, I think we're going to let Von Miller finish car his career out here. As long as he wants to play here, I'm a taker. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, but, no, definitely after year one, uh, not even in the offseason yet, the team has definitely progressed already. Um, there's a lot of bright spots. How did Josie Jewel get so many upgrades and not even be starting? Uh, did he get... Okay. Uh, that's weird. That's not what I want happening. Will Park starts there. Uh, but definitely going to be some changes in the off season. Definitely going to be some uh, some changes in the off season. Let's simulate to that off season because I need to sign. I need to sign uh, Chris Harris Jr. A 93 DNA. I'm close enough, buddy. Thank you for telling me that because that definitely means that I will be keeping him then. I've seen Aaron Rodgers go down by like 13 or 14 overalls before, so. Oh, that's your guess? Okay. I thought you already knew. All right, advancing to off season. Let's get ready to put this upgrade on here. Okay. So like we said, we're gonna get rid of Derek Wolf. Um, doesn't look like there's anyone else I want to keep. I unless there was that tight end. Okay. All right. So Chris Harris did not regress. Okay. He did not regress that much. So we'll actually. We'll bump that up just so then he signs a one year. Oh! Okay, well, we're gonna just franchise tag you. Same amount of money. You're not gonna test free agency on my watch there, buddy. Um, Drew Locke with another upgrade. Okay. Uh, we'll take it. 73 overall. Okay. Um, weird, but I'll take it. Definitely will take it. Um, cannot make trades yet. We will advance to stage one. I'm going to peek uh, free agency, and I'm going to see if anyone in the chat has any ideas for who they want me to sign. Okay. So we have Kareem Hunt in free agency. Definitely not looking to upgrade the halfback position. We have Philip Lindsay, so that's definitely a no-go. Oh, Chris Jones. Guys, that could definitely be a solid pickup for this uh, for this defensive line. Kendall Fuller could be a solid back uh, could be a solid guy to come in and take over for Chris Harris, but also a solid second guy uh, and that would bump Callahan to third. K Fuller Austin Hooper, we don't really need him. We got Noah Fant. Um, Kyle Van Noy, we'd pass on him. Whitworth, he's too old for my liking. Ngakwe, okay, that's definitely an interesting guy, too. Uh, we also have Ryan Chazier. He could definitely help the team. Joe Thune, he, I honestly will probably end up chasing after him. Uh, Mike Daniels, Mike. Michael Brockers, uh, the rest of these guys. Oh, Darby could be an underrated pickup at cornerback if I didn't uh, end up landing K. Fuller. Um, Mike Hilton, no, uh, Nelson Aguilar, that could be a solid third man at the receiver position. Lots of option, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys uh, want to see in the comments. Blythe might be a solid one, two-year guy. Um, let's see. Jake Elliott is in here. I think I might end up taking him. He's a younger kicker. Well, I'm definitely going to put a bit in here on him. Uh, put his... I'll sign him for five. So, that will definitely... We're going to bump that down to $2 million a year. 
pay him what my kicker is making uh, over a specific amount of time, and he's just as good. He's making, yeah, I, I'm definitely uh, gaining some money on that because my kicker is getting 14 million over four years. So uh, I will pursue Kendall Fuller since uh, that's what seems to be wanted. We'll we'll sign him for five. Let's do nine. Let's bump that up. Let's get let's give him a hundred offer. I want I want to see. And C Jones. Okay, okay. I I honestly was probably gonna do C Jones either way. Um, I think that's definitely gonna help this team. Uh, we're going to go with a 98. No one else bet, uh, bid on him. We need money for Chris Jones. Um, so we're going to sign him for four years, hopefully. And we're not going to bump him up that much. We're going to go 8 mil and 8 mil. That's 102 points. No bids have been made in on him. Uh, and I believe we're going to go with Thuni. If we can. Salary cap, huh? Let's see if that helps. 38 points. Okay. We're just going to withdraw that. Uh... Oh man, uh, I don't think offensive line is going to be the way to go in this. Uh, ooh, I forgot to uh, download the realistic, uh, the next year uh, roster. That sucks um, for the draft. So, alright, let's see if maybe we'll, we can get Darby. Wait a second. Okay. Three million a year, huh? It's not very good. It l it's looking like I might not be able to sign anyone else unless I make some moves to clear some cap space. Verrett, though, he might be a solid one year guy. Uh, just until I can draft somebody. Ooh, or Levi Wallace. Yeah, you're right. I, it's looking like I don't have any money. So, I'm going to have to go look at some salaries and see who I can clear. So who's some of the biggest guy? All right, so let's see. Bob Miller's still taking a big hit. Uh, ooh, James, that's a big one. He's 28. All right, let's start with Leary because I know I'm going to replace him in the draft. Uh, says I have a lot of cap room right there. They're probably lying to me. I don't think that it's going to activate this. Yeah, Juwan James, you know, Lear. Um, let's see if we can get out of him. Let's see. The Dolphins obviously will need him. I'm sure the Dolphins have the best pick in the draft. Uh, and that's exactly what I need. So. Um. See if maybe we can get a second for him. All right, I think I could probably end up squeezing the second. I need a second round pick. Yeah, they definitely they have three uh three three third rounds. So yeah, I'll, I'll trade a third round for a second with that guy and clear up some cat space. Um, probably could have ended up getting the first at that point, but um, let's see if that if that gives me any room.
Let's see if that gives me any, uh, any play with room. Let's see. Okay, so that did give uh, that did give me some playing with uh, room. Yo, um, I'm gonna withdraw that because I don't know if I want him uh, yet because I might be able to sign someone cheaper. Oh, I actually don't need to because I'm signing K, uh, K Fuller. I forgot that about that. I need to go for an offensive lineman. So, let's go with Joe Thune and see how much I can get for that. I'm confused. Okay, 94 total points. Uh, wait a second. Let me see. Who was the guy that I... Is there anyone else? Daryl Williams is getting old. Austin Blythe is the best bet. Thank God. You seen they coming out with NCAA? Um, I have seen that. But. I'm definitely excited to see what it's going to be like. So we're definitely going to try and snag him up. And let's see how much money we have left. Yeah, we don't have much. Uh, let me see if there's any more ca uh, salary I can clear up. Maybe snag up a middle linebacker here. Um... If there is, then I will try. Oh, Kareem Jackson. Kareem Jackson is the man. Okay, so. Now, can I get a first? Now, I, I'm almost considering moving up. With uh, with a third, possibly. Okay, let's see how many picks we have in the draft in general. So maybe if I add a sixth, that's not gonna work. I uh, I will add a next year. I'll go with the next year's four. Maybe they'll do that. Okay, it's close. So this is what's gonna get this uh, the third round pick. I mean, uh, this is what's going to get the first, uh, I, but I'm going to see if I can get the number one overall pick if that's the case. Okay. There we go. Uh, Kareem Jackson, that should, uh, I got the first overall pick, and I will be able to sign one more player possibly, and then uh, we'll advance. Uh, I think we're going to go after Ryan Shazier, if it'll let me. Oh. Okay, my headset died. I'm back. All right, so this is definitely a, a big free agency right here. But it looks like I'm not going to be able to make any more moves. Kareem Jackson apparently uh, made my cap worse. But let's advance. Should be able to get a middle linebackers, uh, some linebackers in the draft. Contract, it, okay, looks like we got everybody that we wanted. Uh, Chris Jones, welcome to the team. Austin Blythe, welcome to the team. And one of the bigger additions, Kendall Fuller, welcome to the team. This team is all of a sudden looking like a God Squad, fellas. It looks like we're taking the Super Bowl this year already. All right, let me pump the brakes. Um, 
we still don't have an elite uh, wide receiving uh, core. I I need to calm down. <laughs> but let's. I, I believe it was this guy right here. Um, fullback. Five live in chat. Well, everyone that's live in chat, come through. Talk to me. What's going on, everyone? Um, let's see. The biggest addition. Chris Jones, welcome to the squad. And now we have Chris Harris and Kendall Fuller running the back uh, of the field. My secondary gonna tear some stuff up. Um, Josie Jewell, um, we'll probably let him. Uh, we'll probably start him this year. Uh, I think Alexander jo uh, Johnson will be replaced. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of Todd Davis. Justin Hollins will let him kind of progress a little bit unless I can find some, his replacement in the draft. Uh, the team is looking pretty good, fellas. Um, okay, my kicker must have been... Wait. I did put an offer on a kicker. Okay, he's he's just mulling, I was going to say. All right, let's see something. Salary, because I definitely need to clear up some salary, it looks like. Um, Todd Davis, that's literally the man I want to get rid of. Okay. And we're going to see what I can get for Todd Davis. I know this seems like a long first year, guys. Um, it will definitely progress a lot faster once we actually um, get going. The Bears want him. We'll just see if we can get a cheap pick. I mean, a uh, okay pick for him. Look, second round pick straight up. Um, that should clear up some space. Uh, and let me go to my depth chart and make sure that guy's starting now. Uh, We're going to put him over him because he's better. And we are going to advance one more week because I don't have money to be signing anyone. We got a lot of our guys. And, I mean, hopefully Jake Elliott decides to take his talents to uh, – he does. He decided to take his talents here to uh, Denver. Um, we're negative two mil. So let me trade my kicker or release him, whatever comes first. Uh, we'll see if anyone wants him. The Dolphins will give me a 7th round pick in the future. 7th round pick for him. There you go. Alright, our kicker, that, that's just the way of getting some ki uh, type of compensation. Because, I mean, he, they're definitely not worth that much. Uh, we can't do anything. We'll go, we'll go to another week. And we'll advance one more week. In two seconds, so let me do something real quick. And we'll get the draft in here in just a second. Just gonna pour myself something to drink. All right, fellas, let's see what we're going to target in the draft real quick. So, we want to aim to replace Juwan James. Not the end of the world if we don't. Uh, Garrett Bowles, uh, possibly. Dalton Riser, of course not. McGovern is not uh, the end of the world if we don't. It looks like we're going to need to grab a receiver. Uh, at some point in the draft, we'll need to grab a receiver. 
give Mr. Locke here another year um, to target someone. Uh, he need a. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna rock with Locke for at least one more year. We'll see how he progresses, and that will make the decision on whether or not we uh. Uh, we make the call to uh, st uh, to draft a quarterback. Oh, and Von Miller ended up going down to a 94. For anyone that guessed, Dean, you were one off. This is year number two, Mario. YouTube. Um, the Broncos are your favorite team. Well, I'm trying my best to do what I can with them. Uh, there's a. Uh, I just got out of the first year of, uh, off season. We got Chris Jones, Kendall Fuller, um, Drew Locke as starting quarterback. Uh. And we're going to see what we can do in the draft. Uh, but Noah Fant, Philip Lindsay, we're not, uh, we're not, this is realistic, so we're not going to tear apart the team too much. Uh, but it looks like we're, I mean, it looks like we can possibly target a right tackle in the later round. Um, but we definitely need to target defensive line. Uh, defensive line and receiver. So, um, without further ado, let's get into, let's get into the draft. All right, so we have the number one overall pick. Uh, we're gonna go through and we're gonna see what's all uh, what's all available. So let's see. It looks like there is Nathan Key, who looks pretty good uh, for a strong safety. We don't need that. Juwan Hubbard. Let's look at his stats. So he's got A1 hit power, B plus. That's pretty good for. A right end. Um, his combine, he had a pretty solid combine. This middle linebacker, let's take a check. Ooh, he, Ohio State's always good. Let me see Juwan Hubbard one more time. And he's young, younger. Uh, we have another pick here soon. Receiver, I might want to take a receiver. Oh, uh, I, I thought I accidentally double clicked something. Don't want to advance the next pick. I, I pick at number four again. Let's see wide receiver. Okay. So it looks like there's only one good wide receiver, so I'm just gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to make a big, uh, big decision here between Hubbard and it looks like Big B. Um. You know what? I love, I love rushing off the edge. 76 overall. We have the number five ranked in true value and you drafted him at number one hidden so that means star better development not terrible not terrible at all we'll see who goes off the board now advance the next pick another right end Elliot Dickinson 75 overall Nathan Key that strong safety we were talking about and it looks like if I wanted to uh, to get that middle linebacker I could right now and then possibly trade up for that wide receiver I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Big B right now. now He's a 74 overall hidden dev. We're gonna trade up for that receiver. Hopefully we can make a trade to get it uh, to get back in this. Um, let's see. I don't think he's gonna go too soon, so I don't think it's the end of the world if we uh, trade away something. Let's see, Royce Freeman. We don't need him. We have Philip Lindsay. Uh, is there just anyone that we need to? I want to keep some of our later picks because I don't want to possibly go after uh, other uh, points of interest, uh, such as uh, offensive line. So we're gonna do Royce Freeman, and we're gonna see if we can if we can get one of these next coming up picks. Let's see. I want a top ten pick. Number 10, the Philadelphia Eagles. Pick 5. That's... Let's see. Pick 7. The Lions. Maybe maybe we'll see. Let's see what the interest is on the Lions. Okay. Let, let's see if I offer a second. What if I give them pick 30... I mean, 53. Alright. And then I'm just going to sweeten the deal. I'm gonna give them what? Maybe to see if they'll take that seventh I got from the kicker. Uh, tsh sixth. Just trying to cut it. Kind of 
You know what? We'll throw the fifth in. Come on. You know you want it, guys. I need this. I need this for the receiver. Oh, uh, all right. I'm gonna give him two seconds. I I need the receiver. That's not a bad trade at all. We trade up. We're gonna take that receiver, hopefully. Uh, advance the next the pick. Are now on the clock. All right. Center gets taken 70 overall. And my wide field. receiver is still on the clock. I mean, still on the board. So we're going to be taking Perry Mumphrey out of Southern Utah. He's a route runner. He didn't have an amazing count, uh, combine, but look at his stats. A minus sh short route. A plus. He's definitely going to be solid. He's a 75 overall hidden dev. Definitely happy that I ended up taking him. This is uh, this is a pretty solid draft so far. We're actually going to end up advancing to the next user pick. I don't want to look at players now because it's just not not probably the best idea. Um, so there's definitely halfbacks. Uh, another wide receiver I could have taken. All right, now let's look out the off at the offensive line. Let's see if there's any anybody that's solid. Looks like B plus, B plus. Ooh, B plus in all this. I think I'm actually going to take J2. Now, it looks bad, fellas. It really does. But we're going to take another offensive lineman. Uh, hopefully, it's better. Let's see. And we're going to take Jason Rich. Hopefully he's a are now on the clock. he's got a hidden dev trait. Okay, so Jason Rich is gonna probably come in and start for us right off the uh, the bat at 68. That's pretty solid. Um, I'm not even upset with that selection. We're gonna go to this pick and we're gonna see what we can get just depth wise. I know that we need a lot of linebackers. Uh, let's look what's on the board for linebackers. Uh. Another middle linebacker. I could possibly flip him out to outside linebacker. Let's just look at his combine. Speed, pursuit, hit power. Outside linebacker. We, yet, we're going to take Daniel Miller. Giants are now on the 66 overall, definitely not terrible. Um, 60, 60 overalls are pretty good this year, guys. The so don't be discouraged if you guys see it. Um... Might say that I'm reaching. Uh, trust me, I have a lot. I, I have a lot of faith. Uh, what is my favorite team? My favorite team is the Chicago Bears, Mario. The Chicago Bears. They're not doing too hot this year, but that is what my that is indeed my favorite team. I honestly might take this receiver. Let's. Um. Uh, what was another point of focus I wanted to look at? I could probably take cornerback next round. Yeah, I, I didn't really scout cornerbacks, but we're going to take Jimmy Smith. I like what he looks like. 67 overall, that's not bad at all for the fourth round. Um, we're going to go to the next user pick, see what's, uh, what's left uh, in the fifth. Might t uh, try and take a late round punter. Corner. So we're gonna go with Grant Fire. Are now on the clock. Okay, definitely reached on that one, but he had the best com uh, combine grade. Didn't really know much about him. Just kind of simming out the picks now. Uh, maybe we'll find a puncher that's better. Who knows? Uh, punter. We're gonna go with Caleb Porter. The Giants are now on the clock. 70 overall punter. That's an upgrade. I'm happy with that. All right. And now we're just going to take best player available. Uh, best player available. Mm, undrafted talent. Yeah, he's not that solid, but... In a draft, we have no more picks. 
It happens. Uh, we had a great draft. I'm still very much happy with the way our draft turned out. Uh, I think this team definitely got a ton better. Uh, draft recap. Let's look at that. Juwan Hubbard is your 2020 first overall draft pick. And then Chance Bigby is the number four. Uh, but, I mean, all around, we definitely just filled a lot. They're kind of come in and play right away. Um, we might be able to just move some uh, guys around, kind of get rid of some guys. Caleb Porter in the late rounds. Dean is cracked. You're correct. Dean is pretty cracked. Or you could say that Dean is high on crack. I'm just kidding, guys. Um, alright, let's adjust the, let's adjust the, um, depth chart here. Alright, so, Jason Rich, where do I want him to flip out to star? I think I might bounce him out to tackle. He's not the best... He's not the best at pass protection, so he might not be that great at tackle. Let's see. Okay, he's actually better at tackle, so we're going to do that. And then Juwan James is going to be getting traded. Let's see what Toon looks like at, at left tackle. Because if he's any better than our left tackle now, I mean, all he can do is go up. If he's even a 69, I'll, I'll start him. Where'd he go? Okay. Let me, let me go to my depth chart, because this is a glitch that Madden loves to do. Flip people around. Okay, left tackle. Nope, went the wrong way. J Tune. Okay. J Tune's gonna be a 69, but it's it's Gucci in my book. I want him there. Uh, offensive line's definitely gonna progress. You know, uh, like gotta pr uh, protect Drew Locke, that Mr. Locke in uh, in the pocket. Gotta give him some time to throw the football. Let's look at our defense, which is. Vastly improved, boys. Uh, you got Bradley Chubb. Why wasn't he in at outside linebacker this whole time? You know, I completely forgot that we even had him. Uh, because of the fact of what happened. But I'm glad that he's back because it, for some reason, did that. Uh, let's see. Oh. Um. Let's see this guy's uh, stats. Maybe we might bounce him down to left end. Okay, let's see what he what l let's see what he looks like. Uh, looks like at a at an end position. What's his name? Daniel Miller. Oh, he's better. So we're going to flip him over to right end and start him. That actually sounds like a, a, sounds like a good idea. So, yeah, we're going to flip him over. I, I thought with the way he block sheds, he would be a little bit better. Um, but, I mean, overall, this team's a lot better than it was. Still not the greatest. Okay, either way it works out. Um, still not the greatest team, but is definitely a work in progress. Uh, hopefully, um, we can get some development out of these younger guys. These older guys can be a mentor. Uh, Bradley Chubb, glad you're back. I don't know where you were at. <laughs> uh, special teams, let's release this guy. That's definitely going to that's gonna free up a little cat space and give us a better punter. On offense... We got some younger guys. We got this wide receiver. We definitely want to see where our rookies are at midseason. season. 
But I ask what, uh, like, what you mean Dean is cracked at. Do you mean at Madden? Let me adjust this right here. Actually, that's exactly how I want it. My QB will get the work by throwing to his receivers. I want predictions down below. Uh, if you're in the chat, tell me what you guys think that we're going to end up finishing the season. What's the record going to be? Are we going to make the playoffs? Are we going to miss the playoffs? I also want to know, was it the right move to keep Grulak as our quarterback, start him, and uh, hopefully not uh, not regret it? Wh what do you guys think? I want to hear your guys' thoughts. And like I said, if there's a team that you guys would like me to rebuild here in the future, or um, just you'd like to see some gameplay on, just let me know. But I know that I will be starting here soon a franchise where I play one game a stream, where I'm going to be rebuilding, uh, one or two games a stream, but I will be rebuilding a team on stream that I'll actually get gameplay in with. We'll do a realistic draft class, all the good stuff, and it'll be my team that I rebuild for the rest of the year. Um, now let's see who we got some upgrades for. Bradley Chubb. I was one, definitely wondering. Uh, uh, in my head, I was like, where, where was he? But I could have swore we didn't have that many problems at uh, linebacker. But it's all good. We got it all figured out. Cortland Sutton with another upgrade. He's definitely uh, going to be our guy. Noah Fant with another. Pose we'll make him a possession. Keep upgrading. He's not going up too much, but he's definitely getting them stats. Only 22 in 89 speed for some weird reason. 78. Definitely the call to rock with Will Parks instead of Kareem Jackson. Kareem Jackson was just getting old. Uh... A lot of development here. Uh, wide receiver. We'll make him a deep threat. A lot of development, guys. This is definitely what you want to see. Look at this. Already an upgrade for our offensive lineman at the tackle position. Getting better at the pass blocking. Um, Duke Dawson. Don't really know how good you are, buddy, but we'll, we'll upgrade you. Garrett Bowles trying to fight to keep his job. He will be gone. I think we're going to actually trade him now. Uh, we don't need him. And we don't want him. Let's see your stat. You got 90 speed. Um, we'll just keep upgrading the route runner. That's a scheme fit. He's a 76 overall. Definitely going to develop well, I have a feeling. Terrence Big B already with one. We're going to make him a scheme fit. He's going to be a field general. It's looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Looking very good on the part of just this team's going to be good this year. I think that uh, development's going to just fly off the charts, guys. Um, but let's make one quick trade before we get into the season. Ooh, pretty looking pretty low on cap space here. Um, I believe that he's not starting anymore, so we're going to trade him, see who wants him, who's projected to have one of the better picks, here, let's see if we can get a first overall, I mean a first pick for him and Garrett Bowles. And there we go. 
What's up, DNA Clutch? Just rebuilding uh, the Denver Broncos. We're going to make them a good team. We're going to see what happens. Want to play Madden? Uh, I'm not sure what you're saying. Uh, like, Are you offering to play with me? Because right now I'm uh, rebuilding this for, uh, for a video. So I'm not able to get on and play yet. We're probably going to be going for about another hour. We might split and finish off tomorrow but as of right now we might may or may not finish today it just takes a lot it takes a lot um more to do it right now uh because i mean we just got into it all that and this is also my first ever rebuild so it's gonna take a lot more time than normal uh, so we're gonna go to mi uh, midseason. Hopefully, we see a better record than we saw last year. We're not tanking no more. Hopefully, want to see some uh, some playoff action, get into some play the moments. You're rebuilding your team, the Buccaneers. Well, that's what's up, Clutch. How's the team looking? Tell me about it. What year are you in? Have you won any Super Bowls? We're in year two of this rebuild right now. Hopefully, this team uh, this team is looking better, but hopefully we can get into the playoffs maybe to squeak out a playoff run. I'm not saying Super Bowl, but uh, let's definitely see how, uh, how the team adds up. You have two Super Bowl titles. Well, how many years are you in? And on your third year, well, look at you. Aren't you a stud? All right, Chris Harris wants to already negotiate. We got a 1-6 Broncos team. We get better, and this is what happens. No! Oh, no. This is terrible. Um, I'm actually considering, um, I think we're going to keep Chris Harris for one more year. I know I said that before. Oh, I got to, I, I, we'll come back to the, uh, to the offering table with him. Lindsay is definitely someone that we need to keep. Lindsay is locked up. Um, I'll look at the other guys later, but right now we need to do some upgrading. Oh no, looks like we got to go back to the drawing board maybe because this is not good. Unless we have a major turnaround, it does not look like playoffs are happening. But it looks like we have some insane development out of some of our key players. I wonder what's going wrong. So Terrence Bigby is now a scheme fit in a 78 overall. That's solid. Juwan Hubbard, the first overall pick, has developed a little bit, it looks like. Maybe we're getting some pressure. So we're going to do route runner once, and then we're going to do deep threat. So Perry Humphrey ended up being a star that's better than uh, it could have been. Drew Locke is having a phenomenal like developing year, even though it's his second year and he still looks like... Uh, did that just give him another... He is now at 90 throw power. He did not get a depth trade in, uh, increase yet. We're going to go strong arm. And then we're going to go... Oh, he only had two? Okay. Um, either way. Chris Jones. Um, depending on who the rest of these guys are, I might just... Alright, so we have some offensive line development. I love it. You love to see it. 
getting him into the 70s. Daniel Miller, okay. Uh, you love to see it, boys. Development all around from our younger guys. Um, anyone else that's a younger guy? I'm not going to upgrade him. Um, Jason Rich. 70 overall as well. We're getting there. He's a star development as well. Um, Alexander Johnson. He's a younger guy. We'll do the him. All in all, this uh this offensive line is not looking terrible, so I'm not understanding how we're one and six. I'm definitely gonna have to look at it and go to the drawing card as I said. Deshaun Hamilton, we'll go with deep threat again. Dalton Reisner, and then we're gonna go with simulating the rest of these. And letting them kind of just do themselves. All right. I'll spend my coach XP real quick. 79 offense and 85 defense. Definitely not worth uh, where we're at. Um, with uh, Let's get the punter. Because the punter needs to get better. Uh, but. 1,500 yards. Nine touchdowns. Two interceptions. The touchdowns, the, the interceptions are down. I love to see that, but touchdowns are down from last year. He's having a lack of production at teams. His yards are also down. Um, rushing, Lindsey is not having that great of a year on the ground yet either. Um, receiving, everything's just kind of down. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh it, on the offensive side of the ball, they're not playing terrible football, but they just need to get they just, they just need to get in it, like right now. But on the defensive side of the ball, is not looking terrible from what I'm seeing. Looks like there's not too much pressure on the quarterback, but they're getting pressure. Definitely looking like it's spread out a lot more than it was. But let's let's simulate to the uh, we're gonna simulate to the playoffs. Let's hope that. This team makes a huge turnaround because they're definitely not playing like they should be. Uh, let's hope Drew Locke makes a major turnaround in the season. Uh, throw like 20 more touchdowns because 9 is just not acceptable. It's just not... And we are coming up on the playoffs here now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hopefully we turned it around. And we did not, as you see, the notorious practice squad players signed in a week 17 loss to the Tennessee Titans. Let's see how we fared in our season. Now we it does not look like we had a terrible finish. Six and ten after being one and six at the halfway point. That's five wins in our last nine games. That's not terrible. Looks like Drew Locke definitely stepped his game up. He threw for about twenty four hundred more yards, fourteen more touchdowns, and added five picks to that. Definitely would love to see that if it was a double. Um Lindsay not getting over a thousand yards, but definitely, uh, definitely a good second half effort. No thousand yard receiver, but Perry Mumphrey definitely solid. Almost a thousand yards from him. Five yards off for Sutton. Deshaun Hamilton, Noah Fant, 
definitely pretty good. Um, just not seeing uh, not seeing how we were this bad. Let's see interception wise. Will Parks leads the bunch uh, along with Bryce Callahan. Um, we got to see uh, sacks. I want to see the sacks. How uh, how much did they step it up? Von Miller with 11 and a half sacks. The number one overall pick with nine, almost a 10 piece. We definitely stepped up the sack game. Um, Daniel Miller getting in there for a couple sacks. Uh, we definitely uh, stepped that up. Let's see how many forced fumbles we had. Uh, we had a lot of forced fumbles, it looks like. Kendall Fuller. Now, do we have any defensive touchdowns? We did not. Okay. Now, let's go through yearly awards. Patrick Mahomes, you love to see it. Wins MVP, sadly, actually. You love to see it if you're a Chiefs fan. We are uh, all today, who, whoever's watching this video and enjoying it, Broncos fans as of right now. So you don't love to see it. Um, no Broncos, it doesn't look like. Defensive player of the year. Uh, no Broncos. Uh, it looks like Perry Mumphrey is getting edged out by Dell Witted for Offensive Rookie of the Year. You hate to see it. You just really hate to see it. Terrence Bigby for our Broncos comes through with the Defensive Rookie of the Year with Hubbard leading in at three. And you just love to see that. Daniel Miller coming in at six. A couple rookies on the board. You love to see that. Um, not seeing any Broncos there, uh, not really seeing Broncos there, we're not really having any leaders here, and you don't really expect it when you go 6 and 10. The good thing is, oh, we see Chris Jones, that's, uh, you'll love to see that. Uh, Von Miller coming in at number 3 for defense, I mean, for, uh, one of the best linebackers. Uh, now we definitely stepped our game down from last year where we had... Um, two or three people on the uh, in defensive backs. Uh, where Jake Elliott coming in at number seven. We definitely just have to be better all around. Uh, all around. Uh, there's not much more to say about that. But we have a lot of upgrades. Hopefully our team can get better. Deep threat. All right, so Cortland and Sutton at 83 now. Terrence Bigby after having a phenomenal year, winning Defensive Rookie of the Year, is an 80 overall. Let's see if he got the Dev Trade in, uh, upgrade. He is a star development. He was a hidden, so therefore he did not get the Dev Trade upgrade. Perry Mumphrey getting edged out. Um, probably didn't get a depth trait boost. Uh, we can always check. He's an 80 overall to end the season as well. This draft class is definitely looking like it paid off in the long run. Jawan Hubbard, after getting edged out, let's see if he ended up getting the uh, depth trait upgrade. Let's see it. I don't believe I ever ended up getting to, uh, got, uh, getting to see him. He is a superstar X Factor. You love to see it, boys. Did he just get it, or was that his? Uh, I, I believe that's when it came. Okay, you love to see it, boys. You love to see it. Now, um, Jason Rich, 70 overall. He got two upgrades. He's one of our rookies from the previous draft class. All right, all righty here. Now, Kendall Fuller, oh, why does that do that? Okay. Um, anyone that I really want to upgrade, Austin Blythe. Don't know how old he is. We're gonna need him for one more year or so before we replace him. No offense, you know we're gonna keep him. Um, let's see, Deshaun Hamilton, 
progression, but not so much. Maybe looking to move in a different direction uh, during the draft. Uh, not sure yet. We definitely need a primary receiver. Possibly going to go somewhere uh, in the offseason. Um, not 100% sure. Drew Locke definitely has job to lose at this point. Um, he's progressed pretty well. Um, from a, se a 65 to a 76, we're going to give him one year, uh, one more year under the belt. Hopefully he can progress. Uh, the punter definitely progressing. Definitely a better option than we had. Uh, I mean, he's a punter. Left tackle. This is another uh, of our old draft picks. He's still 70 overall, but definitely progressing. Uh, definitely not going to look to go that way in the offseason, it looks like. Daniel Miller definitely did not progress that much. We may look for a replacement in the draft. Not 100% sure yet. Uh, uh, Jawan Winfrey, probably not the answer at wide receiver unless he has a breakout year next year. Uh, probably not going to get re-signed. Um, we're just going to simulate the rest of those. And we're going to go spend our coach XP. And hopefully in this offseason we can just really uh, make an impact because as of right now we're gonna uh, we're, we're struggling uh, eight, uh, 82 overall team definitely a lot better than two years ago you don't go from good to winning the Super Bowl though that is the one thing I've learned I mean uh, m my apologies you don't go from bad to winning the Super Bowl. Just like that in a year or two. R-O-T-Y. Okay. Upgrades players. Terrence Bigby got another upgrade. Okay. Terrence Bigby balled out for us. I don't understand how he's just a star. Oh, that's frustrating. But uh, Super Bowl 55. I don't know why it's out there. Um... The Ravens and the Redskins. Let's see who ends up taking the W. Um, I want to hear you guys' predictions in the comments this year about who's going to take the W in this year's Super Bowl. Uh, looks like the Redskins edge out the Ravens 38-32 in a high-scoring affair. Jake Butt, we have the fullback that we just converted. I think we're actually going to sign the fullback. Because why not? You'd like to play the for a new team next year. That's sad. Um, all right, Chris Harris Jr. I'm willing to n franchise tag him again. He is just that good. Um, you enjoyed playing for me. Well, you're gonna enjoy it for one more year. You're an 87 overall. I'm. Uh, we're gonna keep you. But let's see. I, I forgot to check. All right. We're going to have to go in a different direction for middle linebacker this year. Uh, all right. I should probably look after uh, after we advance, see who all we for sure lose. Uh, uh, just in my face. Okay, so, all right, so we got Drew Locke at the helm, Drew Locke at the helm, boys, so Terrence Bigby definitely filling the spot, Josie Jewell, um, we may not have to go middle linebacker, um, unless we see someone that's just a want, um, it's looking like we're gonna have, uh, we're going to have to go uh, in a direction for a cornerback here soon. Oh, I did not see Justin Simmons with the Dev Trey upgrade. Okay, um, he's now a superstar. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, um, I'm confused. Hopefully, it kicks in this year. Uh. Okay, 
But we can go uh, defensive end or um, middle linebacker or um, cornerback, of course. Uh, the, the offensive line is looking pretty good. Uh, I mean, besides this little hole right here, which I think we're going to hold on to that for one more year, we might go for a receiver and uh, – we might go for a receiver in free agency, but, I mean, besides that, I don't really see. Dalvin Cook, oh my. A 95 overall X-Factor running back that I do not want. I'm sorry, guys. We cannot go in that direction. Um, Will Fuller. Oh, man, wouldn't that be an addition? Uh, Chidobe Awuzie. Now... Here's the thing. It's not looking like there's too many big names right now. I'm feeling like it's going to be time. To, I mean, it's going to be a good idea to either go after Keanu Neal or Will Fuller. But saying how our offense struggled, we're going to have to do Will Fuller. Uh... How many, what's his offers? Okay. So I can definitely kill this down a little bit. Let's offer him that. Just see yeah. how. Okay. We'll up this a little bit. Hopefully he just doesn't decline it. 88. Okay, that definitely doesn't kill us. 88 and... Oh man, that, uh, this is this is a tough situation right now. Um. All right, we're. Uh, I think that's it. That's what we're doing for free agency. Uh we're gonna have to hope to get Will Fuller, or at least get a larger shot to shoot an offer to him. Hopefully, he just. There we go. Will Fuller signs the contract. He's gonna be in Denver this year. Looks like we're going to be able to get rid of uh, Deshaun Hamilton. You hate to see it going. Let one rip. That's kind of weird, dude. Um, that's not going to happen. Um, let's see. Deshaun Hamilton. He will more than likely be uh, taken. We'll more than likely be getting rid of him this year. Uh, we'll be looking looking to get rid of this left end. I'm going to hold on to him for the draft because I need to see who's in the draft before I trade away. Uh, I don't want to trade for a pick that I don't want yet. Oh, this is definitely a... LOL, I meant let it rip. My bad. I'm confused, buddy. But anyone that's enjoying the content, if, if you guys don't mind, just go ahead and uh, hit that sub button, share the content, hit that like button uh, for the uh, for the season. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that last season, RIP, <laughs> I completely agree. Now we're going to hop into here. Let's see what we, I don't know my picks. So my first pick is at pick nine. Rip for that. We're just going to do that. I'm not going to, 68 feels bad for the, uh, for the Texans. All right, we're going to make a selection here. All right. Well, I'm definitely not looking for that, so that's good. Um, let's see. I remember I needed cornerback. Cornerback or end. Whichever comes first. Jackie Jones. Not, don't even have to look at anything else. That is an amazing uh cornerback. 78 overall, normal development. 
It doesn't even matter. The uh, I knew that I wanted him. All right. So I don't have too many picks in this draft. Uh, we're going to go with an end. The ends do not look that great. Finesse moves. The Chargers are now on the clock. Uh, the talent in this draft is just poor. I'm glad that I'm not trading him for the, uh, for the talent in this draft because the, dra uh, the, the draft here is the just not that great. Are now on the clock. Um, just kind of seeing who we have t scouted. Ooh, this is the right tackle that's supposed to go in the first. The Vikings are now on the clock. A 72 overall right tackle in the fourth round. That is a solid pick right there. The I'm. You love to see that right there, boys. That's a sleeper. Um, let's see if there's anyone else that we have scouted. Um, this is, I believe, the fifth round, so I can take fifth round talent. Uh, I believe I've seen someone that was scouted for the fifth round. Um, we'll take this the tackle. Vikings are now on the clock. Okay, close enough to where I was supposed to. The Broncos are now on the clock. We're definitely going to have some depth at the offensive line position. Uh, let's see. Projected third. The Vikings are now on the clock. I don't know why I got the thud. Okay. Uh, not not bad. Just depth right now. I mean, really. Uh, the Broncos are now on the clock. Rip for this draft, guys. All, that's all I have to say. We're just going to take best player available, of course. I just want to see if I have anyone scouted that might be a sleeper. I completely did not address anything secondary-wise in the season. The Cardinals are now on the clock. Hidden development, though. That's... I am on PlayStation Square Up. All right, next user the pick. Are now on the clock. We're going to go with best corner available again. The Vikings are now on the clock. And 55 overall. And let's go to end of draft. So with this draft, I mean, honestly, it wasn't terrible. But, I mean, it wasn't that great either. Draft recap. So, we ended up getting Jackie Jones. Oh, yeah, I did go with cornerback early in the first round. I f completely forgot about that. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, he was a normal dev. William Bullard, uh, 69 overall, right end. Definitely probably not even going to come in and start. Uh, but, I mean, uh, really one of the best picks of the draft was Daniel Halen. Uh, getting him in the fourth round for a right tackle. He's going to come in and be our uh, starter right off the bat. Um, Bowman might potentially get some snaps at some point somewhere just to develop with his head and depth. But, I mean, the way I see it, uh, I mean, off-season addition of Will Fuller and uh, getting Jackie Jones, and that's just our, our primary move right there. Uh, I mean, hopefully the team... Is a little better going into year three. We uh, we got Drew Lock a, a better, uh, speedier target to kind of throw to. Um, Will Fuller a superstar. Uh, let's see. Uh, we might be able to flip. Let's see, Jay Tune for something. Uh, we're not going to need him now that we have uh, Daniel Halen. Um, he's a normal dev, so we we're probably gonna stick with Daniel Miller. He didn't have a terrible year last year. 
Um, anything I need to uh, address? We're probably going to keep uh, Deshaun Hamilton until the end of the year. Um, but let's get rid of Bryce Callahan. Or, no, not Bryce Callahan. Uh, Bryce Callahan will definitely be moving, but just not yet. Unless his contract is a big hit. Let's see. Yeah, that hit, it is. So, let's see who will possibly want him. So, the box, we're going to... Nope, not gonna go. With the, not gonna go to the Bucks. He's going to go to. No one has the cap space for him. Let's see. Patriots do, but they just don't want him. Um. Geez, anyone who wants him does not have cap space. Uh. Cardinals don't want him. There's no one that even is pr remotely close that would want him. Except for the Raiders. So let's see if there's someone that we can... That we can end up getting out of them. That's like... Small contract, maybe. Maybe we'll take Hunter, a Hunter Renfro and a fourth round pick. We'll go for third. Okay. I want the third now. So I'm actually just going to add in a pick for the sixth round from next year. Why not? We'll make it a fifth from next year. All right. Welcome to the team, Renfro. Um, all righty. And now we're going to trade that tackle. Jay Toon. I was going to say, there's got to be someone that wants him. Probably not going to get a first for him, but yeah, I didn't think so. But we might be able to get a second, depending on how, how much interest they have. Let's see. If we can get a second next year, I'll be, I'll be happy with that. A second next year. Okay. We're, gonna, we're just going to go for the third this year then. Um... The third next year. Uh, trying to get the best value out of this pick. And I really don't want to drop down a whole round. Okay. I don't need a fourth. Uh, solid. Okay. Now I just need to mess with my depth chart. Because I want pump free running the slots. All right, a lot of uh, a lot of growth, uh, growth in the last couple of years. Chris Harris Jr. is on his way out. We will not be re-signing him after this year. Um, it looks as if uh, it it looks as if this team could possibly go on a playoff run this year. Uh, don't really know. Uh, how well Drew Locke's going to play, hopefully as long as he keeps progressing pretty well. Uh, I think this team will definitely be good. Um, let me just go to my depth chart, put Pumphrey where I want him. Because slot receivers seem to get the most yards, and I want him to get the most yards. Uh, just going to be honest. Slot wide receiver. Pumphrey is already there. I mean, uh, Pumphrey. I've been calling him Pumphrey. His name's Mumphrey. So, all right, there's that. I'm going to simulate the regular season while I run to the bathroom, boys. I will be right back.
All right, we are in year three, week one, and we are going to simulate to the halfway point. Not going to make any adjustments. We're going to see where we're at at the midseason point. Kind of see what we're playing with here. See if maybe we can edge out a playoff game. Remember, year five, which after this season, I'm going to split, and we're going to do year four and year five on Thursday night. Um, I'm going to finish that off on Thursday night. Uh, but year five of this rebuild uh, is Super Bowl or bust. So I'm going to get in and play the moments. I'm going to let the team play out. Um, jumping at points where I think I need to help my team. That's only if I do not have a Super Bowl. Now, if I win a Super Bowl in this season or in season four, I can't do that. Now, maybe if in uh, season five, if I've already won a Super Bowl and, uh, I'm in the Super Bowl, or for some reason, um, anything like that happens, I'll go, uh, I'll go on and, uh, hop in for maybe a drive or something like that, but as we get to the mid-season point, we're three and four. I will say that that is a much better, uh, start to the season than it was last year, sadly, um, we have some contracts, Von Miller, as I told you guys, I will be letting him finish his, uh, season here as a Bronco we have some big contracts here to negotiate uh, Von Miller yes sir um, Chris Harris you can walk Bradley Chubb yes sir got him locked up Cortland Sutton yes sir All right, Deshaun Hamilton, I would have traded you if I knew that. Uh, you can walk. This is where it gets tough. I can, I will sign him to a one-year deal. I don't know if he's if. All right, we'll come back and we'll see at the end of the year. Uh, I don't yet have his replacement, so let's sign him to a a one-year deal. All right, come back to the drawing board. Sign him for depth. You're not getting re-signed, buddy. Uh, all right. Besides that, I don't, I don't really care too much. Let's kind of see who kind of upgraded. Terrence Bigby, of course. This is good. Eighty-three overall, our four, uh, our second uh, draft pick from last year, playing better than our number one overall draft pick. Um, I don't, I actually don't care with Tyree. Um, Chris Jones, been phenomenal for us so far. Got him in, in free agency. Will Fuller, can't uh, can't wait to see what kind of season you're having. Um, is my, I was going to say, does my quarterback have one? We'll upgrade Field General. He's about to get another one, it looks like. Daniel Halen. Got the upgrade. He's a 73 overall. That offensive line is getting to be a rock solid wall. Um, the puncher that we drafted last year. tackle he's becoming pretty decent even though he's a 71 still got uh, trying to get his pass protection a little bit better Daniel Miller might end up being the solution at right end if we can't see him if he develops uh, like he is a little just a tiny bit better though um, 
Is this the rookie that we got this year? Might just be. Let me see. It is. He will probably not get much playing time. Uh, there's that receiver. He really hasn't progressed that well. Like I said, unless he had a dominant year this year, which I mean, with Hunter Renfro coming in, probably was not going to happen. Uh, I don't really see anyone that I need to. Renfro will, will make him a little bit better. He just went up two overalls. That's really good. That's a solid number four starter. Um, Jose Howell, we're definitely going to lock up a deal with him. He's getting better. Dalton Reisner, of course. Soon enough, not even Khalil Mack will be able to break through this line, fellas. Uh, Jackie Jones, our number one draft pick from this year. 78 overall. Hopefully he's having a good year. Only normal dev. Juwan, our number one overall draft pick from last year. Still a 78. Not really developing as well as I would hope. Hopefully he can start getting through to the quarterback. Um, one of our best draft picks from last year, Perry Mumphrey, had a extremely good year last year um let's let's do this no offense wish he would develop just a tiny bit better but it is what it is will parks run support okay and this team is definitely turning out to be something special though guys We are going to simulate to the playoffs three and four on the season. Hopefully, the almost said the Chicago Bears, the Denver Broncos can turn this season around because as as of right now, it's looking dull. I gotta say, Drew Locke must have not been having uh, the greatest of seasons because this season is on the verge of getting out of hand. I I will say that unless Drew Locke either has a breakout year where he performs really well and they don't make the playoffs or a dev trade increase, we may be shopping for a new quarterback. Because after three years, I don't know. Like, he has all the talent around him that we could possibly put around him as of right now. Noah Fant, Will Fuller, Perry Mumphrey, and Cortland Sutton. Uh, he has Philip Lindsay at his disposal in the backfield. Um, a solid offensive line. If Drew Locke cannot put the pieces together, we may be searching for a new answer at quarterback. Um, possibly in free agency. Um, possibly in the draft. It, it, it all just depends. But um, the defensive side, they're definitely putting up numbers as we do not make the playoffs. This is heartbreaking as the Denver Broncos have... A worse year than they did last year as they go 5-10-1. and one. one tie as they lose in Week 17 to the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is heartbreaking as that cornerback that we drafted had four upgrades. Wow. Did he get superstar development, I wonder? I didn't put him in. Star, he's definitely not going to come in. Derek, well, I mean, Derek, Drew Locke, wow, are you really not the answer to the question? You're, start, uh, you're starting to question it. He's a 78 overall. He's three years into this rebuild. He's a normal development. This is not good. I need to. Uh, I'm gonna back out and actually see who won what real quick before I keep going and, and expose anything that we don't want to see. Drew Lock did not have an amazing year. 3,600 yards, 23 passing TDs, and th nine interceptions. That is not great. Philip Lindsay still a underwhelming uh, year. 883 yards, three tutties. You hate to see it. Will Fuller had a phenomenal year, 1,000 
eight tutties. Mumphrey was a solid outing. Eight hundred, eight tutties. Sutton, Fant, they're, they're spreading the ball around. I'm not seeing what's going wrong here. Uh, we definitely got to see what's going on. Von Miller with 12 and a half sacks. Solid. We just didn't get pressure. Uh, there was no pressure from anyone, really. Uh, we're going to have to step it up there. Uh, really doesn't look like anything. But as Lamar Jackson takes the W, no Broncos here. Third year in, we're just not having any luck. Lamar Jackson again. No Broncos. Oh, Mitchell Trubisky is now on the uh, Patriots. I uh, never thought you'd see that. Uh, Bronco, there we go for Defensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year, we have nobody. Um, I don't know if we even drafted an offensive rookie. But you hate to see it. Jackie Jones does not win Defensive Rookie of the Year. William Bullard coming in at four. Uh... Yeah, he's not going to be on there. Uh, let's see. Wow, this is starting to look very dim. Will Fuller coming in there. Um, two more years. It's going to be a Super Bowl. Or it might come down to a Super Bowl. Buses. Von Miller has just been phenomenal for us, guys. I'm telling you, phenomenal. Uh, as you see, uh, Kendall Fuller coming in number four here. I just I, I I don't know what uh, what's going on here. Jake Elliott winning kicker of the year. Um, is Drew Lock the answer? Uh, I honestly do not know. It, he got two uh two upgrades. Uh, let's. But after we do these upgrades here, this is where we're going to cut it. Um, let's see. Juwan Winfrey. Wow, he's really kind of progressing a little bit more. Never know. Um, 71 overall. Never know, guys. You never know. Punter 73 overall. Right tackle, Daniel Allen. I mean, Halen. 74 overall, it looks like. Connor McG uh, McGovern. You just hate to see it, boys. This is where we're going to split the video on. Like, this. Hopefully, come back in uh, two days and have a fresh mind on it. Uh, hopefully, the Broncos can just turn it around. Today just does not seem to be their luck. I mean, like, their day. Uh, as Juwan Hubbard and it just. Just a 79 overall, man. This is kind of depressing knowing that... Oh, I shouldn't even upgrade him. But, uh... Just knowing that this team is not turning out the way that they should be. Uh, a lot of guys that are developing very nicely that just... It, it should... Uh, they need to put some stuff together. They need to string some stuff together for... Them to be a playoff team. They can't even make it in the playoffs at this point. Will Parks, he's been solid. Um, may have to make a change of playbook, guys. That that might just have to happen. Might have to make a change at, uh, of the play uh, playbook. Corlett Sutton, he's been pretty solid for us throughout the years. Uh, we have a pretty good receiving unit. We, sh we should still have a lot of cap room going into the next season. Justin Simmons going to upgrade him at the hybrid position. 
He's been really good for us. Deep threat for Will Fuller. Will Fuller, he had a pretty, uh, really solid year for us this year. Only 28 years old. Kendall Fuller, he's been pretty solid for us as well. There's a, there's a lot to be done right now, man. Here goes Von Miller, the man, the myth, the legend. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna be in a Broncos uniform again this year. He's a 93. Uh, you just hate to see that after the season he might have possibly gone a lot down. All right, let's let's just get here to the off season, and we'll pick it up there. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to split here. And you guys will uh, get another uh, section and part of this video in, on Thursday. Probably again around 5 uh, p.m. Central. I hope you guys have a great day. J uh, just live life, guys. Live life. And I will be back.